Technology represents just a great opportunity for young women. And my biggest advice for them is to plan. Decide what they want to do in their career and then put a plan in place that will help them actually achieve their overall goals and objectives. Because as you look around, you're not going to see a lot of women, which means it's not necessarily the easiest thing, but it's totally doable. Just look at what kinds of jobs you want, talk to people who are currently doing those jobs, and then figure out what skills you need, what experience you need, what roles you need to have, and go after it, and you can make it happen. Because I was a business major, so the concept of being an engineer just seemed so far out and intangible. And bottom line is, they're just problem solvers, just like any other area or profession. It's just how they happen to solve the problems. If it's computer engineering, they're solving with computers. If they're electrical engineering, they're working, I mean, it's just solving problems. So there isn't this big aura daunting of, of engineering. So once I realized that, then it became a whole lot easier just to get my arms around different roles, how they all came together, and how to structure an organization. So when groups are coming together, to actually solve problems, whether it's a technical problem, frankly, or not. Having a wide variety of people with different backgrounds, different skills, to actually approach the problem makes it much easier to both solve the problem, and frankly, the odds are higher you'll come out with the best solution. Because it takes different views. If everybody's thinking the same way, you're going to get caught in the same traps or the same biases or the same approach. When you bring people to it who actually think about things differently, odds are you're going to get a better result. And frankly, studies prove that over and over and over again.